So what's this adapter plate we keep hearing about? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Let's take a look in the car. As you can see down here, all the adapter plate is, is a metal plate that physically connects the motor to the transmission. Now the most important thing about the adapter plate is that it's solid and that all the holes are in the right place. We have those bolts through there nice and solid to connect the motor and transmission. Now an adapter plate could be something pretty fancy. This is actually an adapter plate out of a diesel car where they had a, a number of different engines and transmissions mounted together and they chose to do kind of a, an adapter plate design to make it a little bit more interchangeable parts. But the one that we're going to build is just a plain piece of aluminum plate. And what we'll do is we're just going to trace out the transmission. So for that, we're going to need a pen, a marker, or a pencil, just something to uh, trace this thing out. Uh, we're also going to want to note all the bolt holes, whether they're threaded or if they go straight through, and what size they are. And for what size they are, you might want a caliper like this, where you can put that right in the hole and measure its inside size. Or another way to do it is if you have one of these little things that uh, you could line up and it'll see what size hole it is and it has the number on there. Or if you have a drill index, you could just uh, put a drill through, just push that through the hole, you know, with the appropriate size bit and then read the, uh, the number of the bit on there. But you want to mark those holes down on your template. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the transmission here and we're going to flip it up onto, in this case, some cardboard. Tag board also works fantastic for this. So now we're just going to trace our way all the way around the motor here. and mark all those holes. So once you've got those marked, you can take the transmission off and we've got our nice template. Now another thing you want to make sure of is you need to mark that driven shaft because even if the transmission is nice and round here, uh, that shaft may not be right in the middle. So you're going to need to mark that. And one way to do that would be to have the transmission up Put the cardboard on there, press against until that shaft presses against the cardboard, leaves a mark, and then mark that with your pen. Then we can get the transmission out of the way. Now the next thing you need is the motor end plate. Now, because I'm just doing this as a little example for you, I don't have this removed. I would need a special tool to uh, pull this end plate off. So I'll just show you uh, by example with this still together. You'd put the drive shaft, line that up right with where the driven shaft of the transmission is, put that down, and then you would simply trace right around the motor. And again, you would do this with that end cap completely removed so you could just set it down flat right here. You'll also notice on this motor that it has four holes, and these are for mounting from the motor onto that adapter plate. You'll also notice that these holes are asymmetrical. So however we mark them right now is how the motor is going to have to go on. Uh, so you might want to check where the power connections on the motor are just so that they face up so that you'll easily be able to access them later. The last thing you want to do is have uh, your power connections sticking somewhere where they're hard to reach. So now on this cardboard, we have this unusual shaped outline from the outside of the transmission. And then we have the nice circular shape from the end cap of the electric motor. We also have the center marked for both the motor and the shaft on the transmission. We have the holes for mounting the electric motor and we have all the holes for mounting the transmission. So now you have a template for making that adapter plate. You can trim it out, you can trace it onto a, uh, a sheet of steel or a sheet of aluminum plate. 
Uh, now, I, however, don't have a bandsaw, I don't have a drill press, I don't have any good cutting tools for working with big pieces of metal. I do, however, have a guy up the road who works on hot rods on the side, and by day he's a machinist. So I went and talked with him and asked if he could help me make the actual adapter plate himself. Well, he brought me this uh, cardboard template, and that was of the uh, bell housing of the transmission he was going to use. Um, we took our measurements off of here after we transferred onto the cardboard. Um, so you see our axle centers, the holes where we knew where they were, we did our measurements off of there. Made a tin plate to start with, and then we found out that the pilot was not in the center of the bell housing on the GM part, it was off center. So we made a tin plate to make sure everything fit right, and this is the, just a tin plate, cheap, easy way to do it first before we spend aluminum, uh, some money on a piece of aluminum to make the part right. Um, so we checked this first on there and this fit right. Um, we knew that was right and that matches up with this here. And let me get around here. So that was our design when we were done. And our pilot center was in the center over here, not in the center. We were 930 high. Then we took this plate, which I knew what it was, and I made a DXF, which most uh, CNC machines can read. Um, and that's what my computer read and printed out after I drew it on the computer. Uh, the CNC machine read it, uh, cut it out on a half inch aluminum, 6061. Uh, and that was our adapter plate that went to the motor. Uh, and there's bolt pattern in the center. The holes inside here were the for the DC motor to go to the aluminum plate, which went to the bell housing. Um, and that basically held them together. Well, the hole centers have to be where they belong to bolt two pieces together. Or if they're off, nothing fits right. Um, they did fit nice. Holes were all good. Some holes were a little small. We opened them up. They worked out nice. Everything lined up good. Um, to make sure everything was center to center on the two parts was a little check in here and check in there, but it worked out pretty nice. Now, this is great. You've got the adapter plate, but you still need some way to connect the drive shaft from the motor to that driven shaft in the transmission, and that's going to be our electric vehicle coupler.